So, I'm going to give my opinion on a little question um, that, you know, is very, well, it's not common, 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 but it fucking exists, right? And that's, can men and women be friends? <laughs> it's a good one. It's a good, it's a good thing. But I've got to say no. I've got to say no. It's every experience I've had with males and females. Now, I'm not saying that because a male and a female are together, both of them are always going to catch attraction. And it's not always going to be like, oh, we like each other like crazy. No. Can it end up happening like that? Yeah. But that's just one of the many outcomes of it. Here's the thing. You're talking about a male and a female being friends, yes? Here's the thing. Now, assuming we're just talking about straight people here, um, this, this, is not, this is nothing against homosexuality, but again, this is just the science of the male and the female, yes? Okay, moving on, nothing against nobody. Comment what the fuck you want, okay? Male and female relationships, that's what we're talking about, okay? Um, science of that, right? You're talking about the male and the female. Now, there's always, 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 the role has been that male and female, fuck, it, it happens, then the baby is born. But, you know, even just for fun, male, men, men and women have that um, attraction, right? Why? Because in our biochemistry, right, in our hormones, in our science, in our biology, and who, and how our bodies are composed and stuff like that, energy and stuff like that see men and women are polar opposites right you have the male male with the testosterone the hunter the hard dick right you have all that sexual energy from the male that happens there and then you all the estrogen the ovaries the uterus the vagina you have the receiver versus the hunter right the energy between that is a very interesting one and there's always a natural magnetic attraction there. Always. Even if it's just a little bit. Why? Because a male and a female can always sense that um, receive and penetrate dynamic, right? They can always sense the hormonal um, energy around them. They can always sense that floating up and stuff like that, right? For example... You know, here, here's the thing, and this isn't like some age-old history thing I'm trying to tell you. This is legit real life. You can still apply it today. Men and women, right? How do I put this? I mean, they just, they just, fucking hell, how do I put this? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to refer to this real quick, because I, I've just really sucked at nailing shit down lately. Okay, so yeah, I mean, as far as the science between them, the male and the fam female being polar opposites, you know, they can sense a sexual tension, even if it's not heavy. There's always a sexual tension between a woman and a man. See, a woman may find a man and think like, wow, he's pretty cute, you know, and they could just be friends, you know, they may not have an interest in carrying it further. But a man and a woman, like you can see a woman walking down the street right now, like I could see her, and then I could just think, damn, she got an ass, man, right? I may, not have, I may not have any interest in taking that further. Maybe I do, right? I'm just looking, and there's a natural sense, there's a natural attraction of me to this woman thinking like, okay, I fuck with her. She kinda, she kinda fine, all right, cool. And then, you know, it hell it can even be just be less than that. Just be like, you know, I really like the way her eyes look. And that's pretty cool. Or like, you know, her hair looks really nice. Like, she smells really good when she walks past me. Right? There's always a natural attraction between the male and the female because of the polar opposite and the dynamic that relates to them. Right? The the hunter who penetrates and takes charge versus the woman who receives and takes in, who absorbs. Right? The male who exerts. The female who absorbs. That here is a constant existing dynamic for life as far as earth will go. That is a that is a final thing. Why women and men cannot be friends is because women and men, one person is always going to catch some attraction. Always. I'm telling you right now. 
um there are women that i have um gotten with there are women that i've end up ended up liking that i never thought i would i would never have imagined yeah i'm gonna take it further with her yeah we're gonna take it steps further yeah we actually gonna end up in a relationship i like her dude i'm talking like i went into these friendships saying we were just gonna be friends i never pictured i would actually ever catch feelings i never pictured that my attraction was gonna go further the fuck but it does. It does. Why? Because there's a natural tension. You notice the attraction, right? Because what happens is you guys start to get comfortable around each other. You're friends for a while. And hell, this could turn out where like the male just likes the female, but the female's not interested. So she puts him in the friend zone, which we'll be talking about then. Or the male who is liked by the female and the female has that interest but the male's not really with that right and again it doesn't have to be a very high interest it can just be a very low if i had if i could fuck her i'd have i if i had the chance to fuck her i would but i'm not going for it right it's just i fight if i could i would yeah, even just little things or just like i said even as little as her hair just really looks good on a daily basis i noticed you know just look it can be little or it can be drastic but always there's going to be a natural sexual tension between the, the between the male and the female. This is why they can never just remain sh just friends. Because there's always going to be a natural extension and an expansion of attraction for each other. Especially the closer they get. The closer they get and the more they start to notice each other and the more they start to get comfortable and feel and stuff like that the more likely they are to take it somewhere, right? Because when you share a bond that close with the opposite sex, right? And sexual attraction is a constant existing factor, even just at a small level, it'll start to expand the more comfortable you get with them. And as you get to know them more, and you really like their personality, so you find them even more astounding, and that plays into the sexual attraction even more as well, right? So somebody you thought you were just gonna be friends with, now all of a sudden has become somebody you fell for right and this could this could take you know a very long time or just a couple weeks time frames don't matter it could be years on end and eventually all of a sudden you're like wow holy shit she's a hot, hot as fuck why didn't i want this before right you get shocked kind of like damn i'd i'd fuck with that right males and females can't just be straight friends they can have a friendship yeah. And they can be cool, they can have time, and, and they can spend time together, they can go out to the movies, and they can do all the kind of things and be straight friends, yes. But you've got to notice that sexual tension is always existing between them. The woman may think, you know, like, this guy's pretty hot. You know, he, he's, he, you know, like, I can't lie, like, he's actually really fucking cute. I mean, even though I've got a boyfriend and all, like, he's... He's kind of, he's kind of cute, you know, I'm, I'm interested, right? But I'm not going to take it further. Yo, know, sexual attraction is always going to exist. That's why men and women can't just be straight friends. One person is always going to end up having attraction, even if the other doesn't, right? That female who thinks, you know, he's kind of cute and attractive, well, that male may have absolutely no interest for her right now. He may not see that in her. He may just plan to be straight friends because she's a cool ass person. But he sees absolutely no interest in her. He doesn't plan to take that any further. He doesn't plan to extend it. He don't want to do none of that, right? But the female, opposite spectrum, right? She's feeling like, yeah, I totally could fuck with this guy. But I'm not going to, right? So there's a natural tension regardless. Some tension is so tension can be higher, it can be lower. Either way, it plays out that way. You know what I'm saying? So that's how it rolls. That's how it rolls. F males and females at some point man interest is going to be sparked attraction is going to exist and it may expand it may not sexual tension will always be on the rise and things are going to start to naturally bind together as a male and a female spend a lot of time together and eventually if it happens to become a mutual thing it happens to become a mutual thing right so yeah if, if you want to if you want to know that question males and females can they be friends? Yes, but understand that sexual tension is always going to arise. Attraction will be sparked, interest will be sparked, and things will go down. Something will happen. You know, something will occur. That's all you have to know.
at some point, the male and the female, something's gonna happen. At least one of them might catch feelings, one of them might just find attraction, or they both all of a sudden catch feelings, and the next thing you know, they're in a relationship. This is why a guy and a female can't walk down the street without someone saying, hey, are you guys dating? Because there's natural sexual tension there, right? There's a, there's a bond between a male and a female that when you just kind of look, you're like, hey, you guys like onto something, right? Because you see that and you see, it, even if there is no direct tension now, when a male and a female, when other people see that, their instincts believe in that sexual tension going on. Even if it isn't happening right now, at some point it will. It will at some point. So that's my answer to that question. Yes, but for a certain amount of time. Somebody may catch feelings, low, high, doesn't matter. And it may only just be one of them. It may be both of them. And it may just be for, brief, be for a brief few weeks that they feel that way. Or for the rest of the time you guys are together. Don't know. But that's how it works. So that's my answer. End of the video. Talk to y'all next time. Come the